Today, we are making and testing the top three ways that you can make artificial snow at home using ingredients that you probably have around your house. I have three different containers and each one is going to have a different set of ingredients and each one will have artificial snow inside. We have the classic rip apart a diaper and access the sodium poly acrylate inside and create artificial snow that way. We have baking soda mixed with shaving cream and then mixed with conditioner. And we're going to test them all out and show you which ones actually work best for which applications. Method number one is the easiest if you have diapers. Now diapers are super absorbent as anyone would know who has small children. So I'm stealing some of the diapers from my son who is quite young and we're going to just rip them open. Now diapers use a special polymer called sodium polyacrylate inside of the diaper. Now if I rip it open, you can use scissors if you want, you're going to get to the material inside. Now this can get a little bit messy, so make sure that you have parental supervision doing this. Once you open it up, there's going to be a mix of what looks like cotton, and then the inside of that is the sodium polyacrylate. So what you want to do is just open it up and kind of scrape off all the material. You're going to want to pull it apart so that you don't get any massive clumps. I want a good sample size, so I'm going to do this with three diapers. Now we have a fair amount of dry powder of this mix of cotton and sodium polyacrylate. All right, so now we're just going to add in some water, not too much, and then mix it up a little bit more. So. You do not need to add much water, but you do need to mix it up. If you add too much, it's just going to turn into a big old lump and nothing will happen. As you mix it together, make sure that you pull it apart so that it gets nice and fluffy. So now we have a nice little pile of artificial snow. This snow is best, I think, for uh, things like decorations or if you're doing like a little display of uh, Christmas decorations. This is a great fluffy snow for that. It's probably not best if you want to play with snow yourself because it does kind of lump together. Uh, it's not a perfect uh, moldable. You couldn't make a snowman out of this. You can more like pile it up in decorative fashion if you will. All right so that's test number one. Method number two involves shaving cream and baking soda. So let's get straight into this. For this method, we need equal parts shaving cream and baking soda. So I'll just go ahead and put in one cup of whew, shaving cream. It doesn't have to be exact because you can always just add in a little bit more later. One cup of shaving cream and one cup of baking soda. Now it's very important that this gets mixed well together. Now if it's still a little bit goopy as you can see there, just add some more baking soda and really mix it in. Ah, oh, now that's starting to look amazing. There we go, yeah. If it's too dry, you can always add just a little bit of water. And then mix it all up. And then this will allow you to make snowballs. Or even uh, if you wanted to make a little diorama with a snowman, this would be a great method to do that in. Because it packs very nicely. That's very nice. Cool. I'm going to make a bit more of this so that we have a bit more of a sample size. Great. This worked really well. So this feels 
kind of cool to the touch, which is a nice effect for fake snow. It's nicely moldable, so you can make snowmen. It kind of feels like magic sand, almost. It's very cool. The last method I want to show you and try myself is the conditioner and baking soda method. So in order to get this, you want about three cups of baking soda and half a cup of just normal white conditioner. And if you want it to smell funny, you can have some smelling conditioner. Yeah. All right, three cups of baking soda. Make sure there's no clumps. The next step is to use approximately half a cup of conditioner. And mix everything together and see what happens. Now if it's too moist, you can just always add in a little bit more baking soda to make it a bit more powdery. There we go. This also is really nice to play with. Now we get to compare each one side by side. So I'm going to just bring them on here side by side and we'll discuss the benefits and cons of each one individually. Okay, starting with taking the filling out of a diaper. Now this is, I think, really nice if you were trying to do some sort of display because it doesn't really get anywhere. It stays within its own little confines. It's kind of cottony. In my opinion, it looks better than just kind of cotton balls everywhere, but I wouldn't be playing with this with my kids. Now that brings us to this one. So this is baking soda and shaving cream with a little bit of water added in. Now this is really nice. It has a brilliant white finish to it, which is awesome because that's kind of what you want with snow. You could easily make a snowman out of this if you want to play with kids with this. There we go. That's pretty nice. And then finally, we also have the conditioner and baking soda. Again, it's very moldable. This one I actually really like for its modeling capabilities. This one is a bit stickier. It's not quite as fluffy as the shaving cream one. So you could make a lot more, I think, with it. You could treat it even like a magic sander placement where you actually get to make some cool things with your kids. This is really cool. I'm glad we have this side-by-side -side comparison. Going over this one more time, the pulling out the filling of a diaper, which is the sodium polyacrylate, is okay if you want to do it for like a display purpose, but it's not a brilliant white and it's not super fluffy. There's a little bit too many clumps in there for what I would prefer. The shaving cream and baking soda in equal mixtures, that turned out really nice. And I think this one would be my favorite. This would be the winner right here because it's not super sticky. Uh, you could still play with it, you could model with it, and if you want to make like a nice diorama, this is packs down very nicely and it doesn't stick to your fingers too much, so not as much cleanup. Coming in at a close second is this one, which is the conditioner and baking soda in a 6 to 1 ratio. This one is a little bit more sticky, so if you're trying to make like a, I don't know, a snowman for a display or something like that, this would actually be really nice and fun to play with, and it would be cool. And again, Brilliant White, both of these are winners in my book, but the shaving cream slightly edges it out. This is Destructive Creativity and I'm Jonathan Allers. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe. We have new stuff like science experiments coming out every single Wednesday morning. See you next time. Bye!